Knowledge, wisdom, understand. Educate my people, that's the plan. Spread knowledge, wisdom, understand. Free my people, that's the plan. Thank you for tuning in to Earth Talk. Today's episode is about rising meditation techniques and tips. Namaste, peace, love, and light. I am Empress Earth Feather Pata, founder of Healing Springs Pharmacy, holistic mind, body, and spirit experience. So I've come on today to talk to you a bit about meditation and rising meditation in specific. So you can meditate at any time. Um, that's not a problem. However, this is specific to the rising before the sun comes up and the importance of being able to convene with the divine when uh, the veils are very thin. So when we talk about veils in um, our practice of Reiki, the Choku Rei is what opens up the veil and that's our um, invitation to invite universal life force to be channeled through us as Reiki practitioners. So the point of our rising meditation should be to clarify and cleanse ourselves to get our transmissions. So my goal today is to give you some instruction and direction on how I rise so that you will be able to find success in the techniques that have been proven to help me during the journey of wellness. And these are all practical usage from a number of different um, modalities that I have come to experience and have the empirical evidence to show how they work. So the first step when you're first rising and again, you do this before the sun comes up. So if you know your sun, the sun is going to rise, let's say seven o'clock, then you may want to make sure that you're up by like 615 to prepare yourself and to get yourself ready for the divine connection, you know, depending on how long it takes you to get ready. So it's just like if you're getting ready for work, don't you go through an entire process, showering, bathing, dressing, grooming, whatever it may be. We too have these um, different guidelines as yogis, as Shakrati practitioners that we have each day before we start our day. So first and foremost, the first thing when I'm first rising is I give thanks. I give thanks to allow my body to awaken that the Most High has allowed my spirit to go back into my vessel and has given me the opportunity to be my best version that day. So just upon rising, just placing the hands either on the heart or on the solar plexus. Um, this rise, I, I actually did place them onto my heart and just allowing energy to flow and showing gratitude for the blessing that you have of life. So that in itself is the first thing, just gratitude before you rise. Making sure that you know, the night before that you didn't go to sleep with the television on or with the phone on, making sure that all other electronics are cut off and that you're having a restful sleep, making sure that you have brushed your teeth, have bathed your body um, appropriately. So, you know, that's the preceptor to actually rising. So once that happens, you may have some, you know, morning breath, things like that. It happens. So, of course, you want to be able to get up and, and wash that out, um, wash your body. And there is a progression of wudu in Islam where you can, um, you wash your hands, your arms, your face, your inside your nose. And I'll put a link in here about wudu. And um, I can also do a video about wudu if possible in the future. So you'll, you can look for that. So, of course, performing your wudu and then um, coming into a space where you're feeling at peace. So this is then the next step. Some water. Um, I've already gotten most of mine down for the rising, but my goal is always to make sure that the first thing that I put onto my solar plexus in the rise is water. No hot coffee or tea or just uh, room temperature 
uh, hydrogenated water. And this is our alkaline water that we have here at Healing Springs Pharmacy. And Body Ecology Life Attunement Center also carries it. So, you know, just making sure that you get also during the day at least half your body weight in water in ounces. So if you weigh 100 pounds, then you need at least 50 ounces of water per day in your life. So, yeah, that's the first step, water. So once you've watered the outer layer, then you can also water the inner layer, drinking that water. Also, a part of my routine that I add in is I do take um, my fruits and veggie supplements that I take through Juice Plus. Um, if you're interested, my link is T H O L M A N dot juice plus dot com, and you can take a look at the variety of fruits and veggies that I get into my system in the rise. So, you know, with along with that water that I'm drinking, you know, kind of towards the end of it, then I can go ahead and absorb those nutrients into my body. I take also omegas, omega three, five, six, seven, and nine. And they are also vegan um, through the Juice Plus company. So again, if you're interested in adding that extra kind of boost to your rise, let me know um, and I'll be happy to uh, guide you through that process on how you can obtain your own. All right, so then after you've had that water and you've um, you know dried yourself off and you've placed also moisture to your body, we um, I like to use the Heaven on Earth Body Butter because it already has um, over 12 essential oils uh, that help to open up the chakras and align the body, mind, body, and spirit, helps to tighten the skin, um, and it helps me to feel beautiful. So it's you know, my way of getting ready for the divine, getting ready for the Most High to um, convene with me to become one with with me. So after that process of being cleansed inside, outside, being purified, being beautified, um, and then of course covering yourself, beautifying yourself in that way, then it's time to set yourself into that uh, phase to receive from the divine. So um, that's just about it, you know, uh, what you do after that is totally your choice. You know, how you meditate, how you worship, how you give yourself to the divine is all for you. Um, I feel like everyone should have a personal relationship with their creator and be able to identify who their creator is for themselves and not have to be told by anyone else um, what the most high is, who the most high is. I feel like this journey that we all have to welcome God into our life has been granted to us as a gift to help us all to question, to help us all to research, to help us all to read, and then come together as one to determine what is best, what is sound, what is true, what resonates for you may not resonate for someone else, but it's not our job to judge that. So um, I bid you a beautiful Wellness Wednesday. I thank you for watching. And if you are not already a student, then you can become a student by applying at www.earthfeather.com. And that's spelled E-A-R-T-H-F-E-A-T-H-U-R.com. And I'll be more than happy to consider your application to become a Reiki Grandmaster Apprentice student under myself. I am under the lineage of um, Reiki 1, 2, and 3 taught as it was taught by Madame Takata, um, passed down from Dr. Yusui. And I was attuned um, as a Reiki Grandmaster teacher um, in order to enlighten myself even more and then be able to give back more to others. So um, namaste. And just as another one more thing that we can do together, we can go over the principles of Reiki today. Um, so if you would just place your hands into namaskar, prayer position, and then just gently place them into your heart chakra. You can use your thumbs to kind of press gently into your sternum. Um, right now I have my, um, I'm kind of like in goddess pose basically, um, on my meditation pillow, just finished my meditation. So I want to share this moment with you all. So if you will, repeat after me. And again, this is the way that I say it. If you find a better way that suits you, then beautiful. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, 
I will not anger. I will earn my living honestly. I will be kind to all living things. I will respect and honor my teachers, elders, ancestors, and parents. Thank you again for watching. Gasho Rejiho. I am Earth Feather Pata of Healing Springs Pharmacy, and we welcome you. Namaste.